what's going on and welcome back to the Blake Bill and Mash channel and today we got a pretty big box in which means we have one of those infamous two-part mask unboxings that have pretty much become synonymous with this channel both of these masks in here are both Slipknot masks and both of them are also Corey Taylor masks now both of these masks that are in this box here are some of my favorite Corey masks and two masks that I've been after for a very long time my buddy Jim hit me up and asked me if I'd be interested in these, some of these Corey masks that he was selling because he was going in a different direction with this Corey set. And he sent me pictures of them and was absolutely blown away by these masks and just absolutely had to have them. With both, you know, with both masks being uh, me and Lundquist cast, I just absolutely had to have them because anybody that's bought anything off Ian knows that virtually everything that Ian does and every one of his masks that he just does and touches just is either the best or the second best in the hobby. Now, obviously, with there being multiple masks in this box, I don't know which one I'm going to pull out first. So after I unbox this, I'll take whichever one's out on top, and I'll show it off, and that'll be the mask I'll talk about today, and the other mask will be in my next video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to this mask unboxing. And like I was saying before, I am really really stoked to be adding both of these to my collection especially considering that they are both Ian sculpts and like I said before you really can't praise Ian's work enough because like I said everything that he does is either the best or the second best in the hobby and at the prices that I got these at really couldn't complain and you know I truly thought I got a steal on both of these masks well it looks at right on top here we have a self-titled Cory Dummy Mask. Let me put that out of the way and go ahead and get this out of the bag and show you guys. Man, this mask looks awesome. And like I said, this is a self-titled Cory Dummy Mask and this was the very first mask that Cory would wear with Slipknot and before he would obviously go to the Ghost Glow conversion. To me, it was always crazy how Cory took an incredible Crash Test Dummies mask and turned it into this just Arguably one of the best masks that Slipknot ever had and there's just always something about this like I remember the first time watching the wait and bleed video and seeing this mask and it was just Just thought the mask just had a very eerie and creepy look to it and Just something that really got me hooked into Slipknot from the very beginning was seeing this mask I must say Ian absolutely destroyed this mask and between the dread work which is absolutely spot-on to the paint to the way everything is cut and stitched, I really feel like Ian just pretty much got this 100% accurate and pretty much about as accurate as you can get to Corey's real mask. If you do order a mask from Ian, it usually does take a very long time to get, but the wait is definitely worth it and I think his work speaks for itself here. I know you're probably tired of hearing me talk by now, so before I get some up-close shots of this, why don't you drop a comment down below. Tell me what you think of this mask. And take a guess of what you think my next Corey Taylor mask is inside this box here. But this has been Blake Billman here at the Blake Billman Mask Channel. Reminding you to strive to be mask elite. 